Right. We need to drag out a staff room. Staff rooms, uh, you can find them under staff, or you can find them under zones and rooms. We'll have more options in here later. Beware, there's staff zones and staff rooms, and they are not the same thing. A staff zone is literally a zone that passengers are not allowed to enter, whereas a staff room is a place for your staff to relax and sit down, or to perform certain tasks like administration. So, I'm going to build... Yes, I'm going to build my corridor. It's going to be very thin, and it's going to join on here. I don't want these walls at either end, so we can bulldoze those. And I'm also going to put a door... Uh, it only needs to be a small door. And put it oh, approximately here, so that our contractors can get in and out. Fancy that, we've somehow managed to get a cow stuck inside. That's rather clever. And it has just vanished, because the game obviously didn't think that should happen. Right, so staff rooms. Initially, you don't need a big staff room, but eventually you're going to end up needing quite a large one. Or many small ones. So I'm going to make the bottom half of that a staff room. I'm going to wall it off. And let's start with the full wall. And then put a nice door at either end. I want to demonstrate staff zones as well, so these doors, passengers never would come through them anyway because there's nowhere for them to go, but let's just iron that fact in and say you cannot pass through here. Um, I'm also going to have a mini corridor here, which is also for staff only. Because I'm pretty sure the next thing we're going to need... Oh, okay. We have to decorate our staff room first. So... You can see the example diagram there. You just need to put a lot of desks in. This is essentially the administration staff room. Now I'm going to put windows along here so they've got a nice view of the aviation deck. Um, and I'm going to make it into multiple staff rooms. Uh, in fact, I will change my mind on that. So I can either go back to staff room mode and control click to delete it, or I can select just by clicking on the room and say demolish. Right. So I'm going to make this into two separate staff rooms. Uh, and you've just seen an invasion of contractors. <laughs> I'll explain that shortly. <laughs> uh, there's one thing I want to check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. Cool. So I'm going to create seven desks over here. Um... No, sod it. I'll put them on this side. Must be placed inside the staff zone. Okay, fine. I'm going to make it into three. <laughs> and I apologise for constantly changing my mind on this. Um, what I'm trying to do is jump ahead of myself and actually have separate rooms for separate people. So, we want our staff room, which that hasn't deleted for some reason. Or did I use a zone? Right, that's what's going on. We're going to have a staff room for executives. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's make it that big. And a separate one for the CEO. And then the rest of this can be 
the main staff room for administrators. I'm going to use some small doors. Alright, so this one is going to be the CEO only. This one is going to be CFO, CIO, COO, HR Director, Procurement Director, Strategy Director. So that should be six, yeah. And again, you're seeing this invasion of contractors. Contractors are treated like staff in the sense that they want to rest every now and then too. And they will opt to do that in a staff room. Unless you ban them. So I'm going to ban contractors from here. I'm going to have all of my regular staff. Um, and it's going to be interesting to see if the executive suite can get through to their desks or not. I'm going to play with that and find out what happens. I suspect we'll need to be allowing a corridor for them to get in. So I mentioned windows there under the terminal section. It's a nice large window here. And a medium window. Mm, that doesn't quite fit. Now if you're the kind of person who really loves detailing in games like this, you'd probably want to plan around your window size, but I didn't do that. I think desks... No, 250 is not that expensive, I suppose. I was about to say, I think they're quite expensive. But they're not that bad. You certainly don't need to place this many this early in the game. You can get away, I think, with like, three or four. But I like detailing to a certain degree, and I'd rather do it now than later. Also, if you don't like this overlay, you can press Z to get rid of the zones. Uh, you can also get, I think, R to get rid of the... Is it R? No, sorry, X to get rid of the rooms. Right, now the other thing I need to put in is flooring. You've got a few options to choose from. I'm going to go with a nice dark wood floor for the CEO, because he's me. The executives can be ooh, slightly cheaper looking floor. The admins can have a dark grey carpet. We'll put dark grey carpet in the corridor. And this main area here is going to be their rest area. So let's pick... Pretty brown carpet for the edge. And a blue in the middle. I don't normally get that fancy, but hey, I seem to be in the right mood for it. Okay. We need to beautify by adding some plants there under decorations. They come in a variety. You can put trees and rocks, but I think those can only go outside. Yes. You can get flowers. Those are also only able to go outside. Can put hedges only inside or on footpaths, and there are some small indoor sorts of plants. So I'm going to give the executive a nice. Uh, let's see. I think there is yeah. Surround his desk with plants. 